All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Red PGs, and we are playing Monster Hunter Stories Remaster. This is part seven of our Let's Play, so let's get into it. In the last episode, we fused two monsters together, which you know made this. Well, we got this monster beforehand, but we fused it with another monster, and we have gained the flame ability. So on this monster in particular, we have ice resistance, so we can resist frostbite, and we've also got flame attack, which is obviously going to be useful here, because we need it for, like, this area, since it's, like, a frost area. I do also need to check which type of abilities has all right it has rock breaker it's one of its main abilities so that's interesting we'll be using that at some point when we figure out how to use it i'm thinking we just get through the story first and then once we've beaten the game i'll do a live stream where we look at all the side content you know the optional missions stuff like that and then of course, after we finish this game, by the time we finish it at least, I believe Zenderzone Zero would have released by then, which would be July 4th. And we've also got The Legend of Heroes Trail Through Daybreak coming out a day after Zenderzone Zero on July 5th, so we've got that to play. We've also got Monster Hunter Stories 2 to play at some point, which I think I'll play that much later on. I'm not too sure if I want to play it now, but... You know, we, we've got this game in the minute, so I think this is good enough so far. Okay, so... Do we have to use one of those flame items to get rid of the ice or something? Hairballs! We can't get through here! Any bright ideas, buddy? Break it. Leave it to me. Use it. Oh, you. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Vinia. Do it then. I dare you. Get oh, going. damn. I wish I could do that. It's not letting me destroy shit. Bunch, Are you gonna come I'm with? Going to traveling with Frostfang. One day, we'll fight the Blight. It's okay. not just training, though. I want to see more of the world like you have. Nice, it's we're getting people to join world, our little you know? cult. Let's see who can see more of it. We got a new cult member, guys. So exciting. <laughs> we need to get on top of this guy. Search the area, don't think there's any items. I think this is it for the winter region. I don't think we're gonna be here much longer. Yeah, we got this area, it looks like. This is a massive area, though. There's a lot to look at here. Alright, let's level up this guy. Because. A little bat guy, bat bear we called him. He's level one, so... Okay... Okay... Uh, we'll do... This... Easy... And then we'll just keep hitting this guy. Easy. Should be dead. Or not, never mind. It only took full damage. Damn, easy. When's this guy's defense gonna go down? Jesus. Kinda crap on her attacks in here though. Okay. Use you. Then use that again. My god, this guy is taking a while to die. Alright, there we go. Let's do it again. Just keep hitting him with this one and he should be dead. No. Alright, what level have we gotten up to now? Level 3 already. Got quite a few items too. No four star items. We got a three star item at least. Could be better. Got S rank though, so. 
just goes to prove that this guy is good for this area. Alright, let's just kill these guys first then. Alright, I've been thinking... What we do is we... Go straight for the middle one. Well, I got frostbite. by it, okay. I hate this game. <laughs> Surely I can use it now. Thank God. Alright, we're gonna change our monster for now to Face Hugger. Okay, easy. Really? The joke is bro. Okay, we're gonna need to use you. Is this guy gonna move anytime soon? Like, come on. Alright, easy one. So good. Alright, hit you with that. Okay, I need to switch back to you. Alright, nice and easy. So good, we can just get our hearts back. We might need to do some XP grinding, so, you know, bear with me. Okay, might as well just keep spamming this attack. Shouldn't be too long until this guy's dead. Pinchip skill. I haven't seen the skill for this yet, so. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Interesting. Easy. Not really, but whatever. We'll just pretend it was easy. D rank. I think that's the worst, worst that we got so far. Okay. Oops. Oh, I don't see any items. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, okay. That's going to be a den, isn't it? Not a den, a uh, safe area. Okay. Oh wow. Well. Never mind. Nice one. Crap. Still good if we get hit here because we can rest up at the camp that's right next to here. Yeah, let's go straight in there. Yeah, I believe we can just go straight through. Should be a rest area, a few shops, stuff like that. Maybe a pig, if we could, you know, if we're lucky. Uh, don't know, actually. I can hear a pig, but... Unless that's not a pig. Oh, is it just you? You don't sound like a cat, you sound more like one of the pig things. Alright, uh, saving here. Gonna set up camp, stuff like that. Of course I'm gonna speak to him, recover. We should have all our hearts back now. Okay. I believe that should be it. Just gonna take one last look around the corners, just in case there's any like hidden items, but I don't think there is. 
I'm hoping the boss at the end of this isn't going to be too tough. But this game is actually pretty difficult in some places, I won't lie. Maybe it's because I'm new to monster turn-based games as much. But I'm not too, you know, used to them other than Persona and Digimon, but, you know, Persona 5 is easy. Persona 3 is probably one of the hardest, but... You know, I played them on normal difficulty. I'm playing on normal difficulty right now, actually, so that doesn't really stand as a point. I don't know why I bring that up. Okay, let's get away from all these monsters. Don't really want to be here right now. Might as well just get to the end of this path. I wonder when I'm going to unlock our next party member. Like, when's that going to be? Because just fighting with two people is, well, a person and one monster is a bit weird. Alright, we'll fight this guy, might, might as well. Hopefully we can level up. Alright. What? That's some real bullshit. Okay, shield bash. Easy. Alright. Uh, oh, come on. Alright, hit you with that. You're joking. I hate this frostbite mechanic. When does it trigger? Does it tell you? I know there's a little thing at the bottom of my screen, but how do I know when it's like actually an effect, like on the HP bar. Bit annoying. As long as we level up, it should be fine. But I am scared we're not going to be able to deal with this boss in the next, you know, areas. And I didn't mean to walk into them. Shit. Okay. Might as well hit you with a power one. God, even for fast mode, this battle system is very slow. Maybe it's because I played the Trails games and uh, Honkai. But yeah, those feel much faster. I'm not too sure though, maybe I'm just seeing things. Or maybe I'm just being salty, who knows. Alright, let's pick these two items up. Okay, there's a little area up here, but we can't go up here yet. I actually don't know which way to go, is it this way? Guess so. Is this the exit? Please say it is. Oh, come on. I want even more to look at. Okay. God, that scared me, that little pop-up. Okay, so now that we've gone to the save point, I'm gonna go grind some XP in the early, uh, like earlier levels for this guy, and then we'll come back once we're done. Oh, actually, can we even do this? Yeah, let's go over here. So yeah, I'll go grind some XP and I'll come back when I'm ready. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so we are back after leveling up a teeny tiny bit. Haven't done way too much leveling up, but yeah. We're going to go straight over to the map marker now. I think we should be high enough level, like a high enough level for us to deal with whatever is going to be ahead. I'm not going to fight all of these little enemies. They're not going to give me much XP, I don't think. I'm not sure how the XP scaling works, but you know. Maybe we'll fight one just to test it out, but I'm not too sure. I do need to go down here anyway though, so might as well go down now. And just make sure I don't get hit by anyone. You know, I thought these this guy was quite slow when I first got him, but he's actually pretty normal a pretty normal speed, it's just the way he walks make it look makes it look like he's much slower than he actually is. But it's all good. 
Uh, just gotta get over here, grab all that. Where do I go though? That's the like genuine question that I have. It's like I don't know which direction to go in. I think it is this way though. Like I'm pretty sure it is at least. If it's not then, you know. Oh yeah, it is this way. Okay. Might as well just go straight in. Alright. Ooh. See lights up ahead, we're getting nearer to the exit. Made it without running into the Kezu. Yeah, uh, kind of disappointing, huh? Yeah, we're gonna run into it after this, aren't we? Yeah, as soon as we go down here, it's gonna be here, isn't it? Oh, there's a pig down there. Oh, might as well grab him. If we can. I guess we gotta fight this thing first, I'm guessing. Uh. Oh, it is you. Yeah, we already have one of these guys. Okay. Let's hope we don't die. By our attacks were. Okay. Alright, we're gonna cheer. I think they miss. Alright, so if we... Damage his head first. Come on, speed. Nice. Alright, we're all good. Just gonna use a herb on myself. Never mind, I mess it up. Should be good. Okay. Alright, that shoes. That and that damage his head. Alright, we've got to rotate this as fast as we can. Easy. Okay. Power hit. Maybe not. Please. Never mind. Crap. Okay. Gonna need to use this on you. I think we should be good though. Yeah, if we switch over to Daniel and we ask him to come home, we can't do that. We can have to use this, I guess. Alright, that's a lot of damage. We should just about be down soon, so. Okay, we're gonna use you as well. Never mind, don't even get to use it. Crap. Alright, tap this as fast as we can. Nice work. Alright, if we get knocked here, it's all good. I won't be using its raw no more. Of course it won't. I'd rather not die though, just in case. You know, if we can help it. Okay. This guy thinks he's gonna win, but he's definitely not. Okay. Alright, that wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but... All good. Okay. The kinship skill. Oh my god, very low. Gotta use 
a potion on you. Easy. How if we switch over to him? Could I use that power attack? Good. Use it again. It's so weird. Uh, there we go. Very nice one. Use you. Crap. Good. So we're gonna get to here because we got this. I'm not gonna lie, they look a bit weird, don't they, these ones? Well, understatement. Uh yeah, we'll use you. We got our health back up. Okay, I think I'm going to use a technical attack. Okay, this guy keeps using the same stuff as me. As me. Not like it matters, he's dead. Easy. A rank. We leveled up that bear. We leveled up our cook her as well. And a bunch of other monsters. Let's go, buddy. I want out of this cave. I can't even feel my tail anymore. Good for you, mate. Don't really care, to be honest. Sucks for you, I guess, but again, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, let's get this pig that was behind us if we can. Oh, so the next area that we're going over to is a frosty, not frosty area, the spring area with all the blossom trees. But before we do that, we've obviously got a few things to pick up. So, yeah, we've got a last pig over there. Again, with the really uncreative design for it. It's like a, it's a me. It's dressed up in like a me costume or something. Alright. Got this wood. Did you just see my character say no to them? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Electro set. I'm guessing that's a combat item. I'm guessing it uses electricity damage on them or maybe you can have like electrical defense I'm not too sure right, I'm very excited to see what this area looks like whoa actually kind of looks crazy I won't lie yeah we're going to check that out I like the music here again even though we have already saved it's always good to save just in case, you know, the game crashes and then we forget to grab a pig from a certain location, you know, other things as well. Oh, there's a city over there. Okay. So we got this over here. Yeah, I wonder when we're going to get a new party member, because this can't be it, surely. Right, I guess we should just go to the uh, city for now. And not like stick around here for too long. Not too sure though. How big is the map here? Not too crazy. Oh. Hi there. I can tell you're gonna be difficult to beat at some point. But at some point I will have to fight you, so you know. There's that. Alright. Oh, this, that is a massive wall. God damn, this looks like actually pretty damn good. Okay, we're finally in the city. Been waiting ages to get to the city because there's a lot you could do here apparently, according to like reviews and stuff. Oh, it looks much nicer than the other areas. I prefer this to like the normal town centre, not town centres, the normal little villages. Ooh. 
is even airship stuff. Finally arrived, welcome to Hunter's Town, Gildgran. Guild Gara, no, I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, it's a place that's nothing like Hacken Village, it's packed with people. There are even hunters everywhere. I'm sorry, is that a monster? Yeah? What about it? What are you doing walking around with that monster? Nothing. Stop, don't <laughs> come any closer or call the hunters. God, you suck, don't you? Are you gonna try fighting us? Have you noticed anything weird, buddy? Take a look around. There's no monsters, yeah. No one here's ever seen a rider before. Looks like they're all scared of our monster. Ah, so many Forgot to mention I've changed up my character a bit. He looks a bit different. I was gonna try making him look like a Adol Christian from the East series, the main character from that series, but couldn't get it on correct. But this does look like his outfit from East 9? Yeah, East 9. Or is it 8? I can't remember. I think it's East 8. No, it's East 9, it's East 9. <laughs> Not like you care. <laughs> Hunter's Guild, interesting. Already. So, there's a monster behind you. Yeah, I know. What are you gonna do about it, huh? No way a monster should be here. Must be some kind of performance. That's a really big plushie you have there. Where can I get one? Uh, at the charity shop. The monster, quick, what to do, uh, right, check my printer's notes. Mate, if this monster wasn't tamed, you would be dead right now. Why are you running like that? Haha. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, she's not having it. Turn these in. Okay. Nice one. Go on, leveled up. Okay. Go meet up with the guild master. All right. Uh. So just over here. Oh, this guy is not gonna let us pass, is he? Whoa. Someone called a hunter. Nah. Yeah, that's a real monster. Hi there, dude. Please let me pass. Entry is forbidden to the likes of you. Yeah? Why? What's the problem, dude? Why are you a pussy? You are the problem. Disturbing the populace with your antics. Shut up, bro. Let me in. You've captured this monster. I don't right? care. Turn it into the guild then. What do you mean? No. Capture. He's our friend. This is our monster. It's our friend. Ha, you can't be friends with a monster. You're a suspicious bunch. No, no. You're no. suspicious. Look at your fucking hairline, bro. You should we treat our guests with such disrespect? Well, uh, why are you here? No, I'm joking. It's probably his like brother or something. Y yes, guildmaster. The the village chief's brother or some shit. <laughs> Okay. I've had word of you from my old friend, the chief of Hokum Village. So you do know him. I hadn't heard from him in many moons, but recently a letter mm -hmm. arrived. He wrote, Keep it up and don't despair, for your yeah. friends are always there. I have no friends, anyway, mate, sorry to tell you. Can explain more at the hunter's anyway, yeah, can we go? Cut to it. I dare ya. Damn, this area is like a Egyptian temple type shit. Very big area, I'm actually kind of surprised. 
Yeah, I don't know what that area is. Whoa. Those are different types of armors. I kind of like that green one, but that green one's pretty damn cool. These are the different types of hammers, great swords. Oh, that one's like cool as hell. That looks like a Xenoblade sort of, uh, sword. Oh. How are you lost? Like, how did you get in it, bro? That's why these guys would, guys would just eat you up, mate. Like it's nothing. Max potion. That staff looks a bit weird. It's like a staff mixed with like... I don't know. A bat? <laughs> oh, that is a really interesting looking weapon. Some very cool looking weapons in this game, isn't there? Sorry about the background noise again, guys. People in there on their cars in the background, driving their cars on the road. Those of us who work here at the guild provide support to these hunters. Uh huh. Anyway, I must apologize for my friend Gendor's rudeness earlier. Yeah, you should be sorry. I am perhaps the only one here who knows about you riders. Uh huh. I was pretty scared of you too when I first met you, buddy. But, buddy, Why? Had you really Is it because he's a hunters? clone of the other guy? Just with a different oh, hat on. If you were to see those hunters doing their thing. Very good, very good. We will make arrangements so you can stay in town. Really? Oh, of course. I should introduce you to the sweetheart sisters. Is that but easy? Then... What? Whoa! That's so cool. You've really got a monster with you. Awesome! Uh huh. You see, there's this little thing on my hand. It's like uh, Ben 10's watch, and it allows me to tame them. I, I n n never saw anything like this in the The Omnitrix. Uh, I'm so, so sorry for butting in. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, you so two good. can be so rude sometimes. You didn't even introduce yourselves. Huh. Actually, that monster, it obeys you. What a lovely little beastie. You seem a bit dodgy. Than my you have to tell me you're taming oh, I have a pet pig. Okay, maybe you're not a dodgy then. Hey, I thought you said it was rude not to introduce yourself. Bit male is probably the best one Oops. here. <laughs> I suppose I did. My bad. This is Limon. So, so sorry. <laughs> oh, these girls are a lively bunch. Well, they support us here at the guild. If you need are they the only workers here? <laughs> But they're the only staff members in this whole entire place. Although you must be tired after your long journey. Nah, I'm good. I have a quest for you to undertake, Water. Yeah, already? Yeah, already. We don't even get to sleep. See what you can do. It might change I don't really care about what they think of us. That said, you should still try and get some rest first, Water. Go and see the hunter, Reverter. He will help you settle in, Water. Roberto. A totally rad hunter. He's so cool. Totally rad? What's that even mean? <laughs> Who is this Roberto? What the what the? Can you call, stop calling me a hoe, mate? It's a bit okay. rude. Look at that, and you have a right to get to Roberto's house. He's pretty famous in these parts, so I'm sure it'll be pretty easy to find him. It's your first time in Gildegarin, right? So why not have a look around? Got all the best places for weapons and armor. The smith can craft equipment for you if you bring him the right materials. Go visit when you get the time. Okay. Synergy effects. Okay. So, certain gear probably matches up to certain monsters, you know. Say if you equip the right equipment, you get better buffs and stuff like that, I'm guessing. That's what that was. I probably shouldn't have just dismissed it so easy. Alright, we've still got 44 minutes on our XP gaining. 
thingy, so yeah, for the next video we'll still have a bit more time to get, gain some extra XP. Right, I guess we should just go upset, accept a few side quests. And to all questions. Uh... Oh, I got them all right. No way. <laughs> no way. What? I was just guessing. Teach you the skill saver. Oh, well, thanks for that, bro. Like, I appreciate it. Alright, let's go speak to this guy then. It's called Hammer, it's called Hammer, it's called a meaty smash. It's made of Zamtria's materials, so it's like hard. It's hard like ice, or was it tough like meat? I'd get one for myself, and my wife would be mad if I got any more weapons. If you show it to me, I'll teach you this hammer skill I learned in my youth. But if I had one, my wife would be like, get out, get the, the hell out of my house. Good for you, I guess. Not like I care, to be honest with you. Alright, this is going to be a very short video from us today, so... Once again, thank you for watching. I hope to see, see you in the next one. If you like Monster Center stories, make sure you let me know in the comments if you want to see a part 8 of the series. If you don't want to see it, let me know in the comments. If you have any advice on videos or what you would like to see on this channel, like any different like types of editing styles, just let me in the co know in the comments. I'm trying to improve my content as we go. Give you guys what you want from this channel so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one